Define neutral by what we feel in terms of muscle tone. Dynamic neutral, neuromuscular neutral, that kind of a concept. So we're going to make believe our fingers are EMG electrodes. Our pinky finger is going to be in the suboccipital muscles. Ring finger is going to be posterior cervical. Middle finger, scalenae. Index finger, SCM. Thumbs on temporalis. Why temporalis? When we get to the TMJ lectures, you'll see that the temporalis is connected to the neck. And when the neck extends in the upper, upper cervical area, the temporalis fires. So tonic neck mechanism there that affects the temporalis. So we want to look at the whole head, neck, and shoulder area. Fifth digit, suboccipital, ring finger, posterior cervical, middle finger, scalenae, index on SCM, thumbs on temporalis. We're trying to find that position of the head and neck in which she is the most relaxed, where the muscles are the most um, comfortable, the softest. So I'm going to do a little um, experiment. I'm going to take her into different movements. I start with rotation, two to five degrees left, two to five degrees right, and I'm going to see what her tissues prefer, which down regulates them more, which settles them down more, left or right. So this is called functional technique. I rotate Dana left, I rotate her right. Her tissues release their tension when she moves to the right. When I go to the left, I don't get a great response. I may even get a little tension. I go to the right, and they kind of breathe a sigh of relief. They like that. So I'm in direct communication with the muscles. I then keep her in that little bit of rotation right, and I side bend left, and I side bend right. When I side bend a little bit to the left, that furthers the relaxation. If I side bend right, that causes a little bit of tension. It's just something you feel through your hands. So it's that position where her muscles are the most electrically relaxed. And then I add a little bit of flexion and a little bit of extension. When I flex, a little tension. So when I extend, side bend left and rotate right, just a little bit off the midline, that is the most relaxed. Everything is maximally soft right now under my hands. So that is her dynamic neutral or her neuromuscular neutral. That's where everything is as relaxed as it could be in terms of the muscles that I'm feeling. I do this because when I do the traction, I want the least amount of resistance possible. I don't want her muscles fighting me. I don't want my pull being opposed by her muscles and she's caught in the middle. So I try to turn everything down, turn it off as much as possible, and that's my starting position. So from that position, I call this the adjusted axis, head, nose, and chin. I'm going to do my manual traction through that axis. I'm going to hold, and we're going to go back now to the Kaltenborn grades, grade one, two, and three. One, piccolo, nullify negative pressure, loosening. Two, we go to the first stop. Three, we go beyond the first stop, and we stretch. This works really nicely in an acute neck. Someone who wakes up and they've got an impingement, this works really well. Find that rest position, and then you just decompress through that plane in which you find them. Grade one, support. Grade two, I go to the first stop. I'll hold for 10. And I allow it to relax down. Come up, ramp it up to 10. 10 seconds, and then release. Five to 10 times. I pull through my shoulder girdle. To the first stop, hold for 10. A little decompression, a little stretch, feels good. And slowly ramp it down. So I become like a mechanical traction unit at this point. Ramp it up and ramp it down. And then if I want to stretch, she's able to tolerate that. I take her past the first stop and I take her to patient tolerance. I get nice decompression. I'm not compressing through the jaw. So the TMs are protected. She's in a nice functional neutral position so her muscles aren't resisting me. I'm getting nice decompression in through the head and neck. 
And I can always adjust. If I find she's guarding, she's not comfortable, the muscles are starting to get tight, I readjust my dynamic neutral to where she's comfortable. Okay? Three to five reps, grade one, two, or three, depending on what is called for. And then I go back and I reassess. Rotation, side bending, flexion and extension. And what you'll find is that generally the dynamic neutral will start to approach the anatomic neutral as they respond to this technique. They will start to line up better as the muscle tension is addressed and released. 